Mm, a very good morning to you. Today is Wednesday. Um, it's exactly one week since I fell off the horse. There's been a lot of improvements uh, with my body, <clears throat> but I haven't worked out even one day. Um, I've been taking it easy. I haven't gone back to riding yet. I think I'm not sure. I think I might do it this Friday. I'm not sure. I think it's a thought still. Um, I just woke up by the way. Um, I feel amazing. I tried to sleep on my back. It was less painful. So there's a lot of progress in that. Uh, but everything else is fine. I am fine. Thank you so much for the well wishes on the video I posted. I had thought of deleting that video and not posting anything this week or just posting something else like a um, clothing haul or something. But I, I felt compelled to post it because sometimes social media comes across as everything's perfect, life is perfect, YouTubers lives are perfect, their Instagram is perfect, like, it's not, it's, we're just normal people, you know, and accidents do happen and uh yeah so anyway thank you so much for how you received that video i was a bit scared um to post it but yeah um i just said i just woke up and i woke up with a craving for pastry um <laughs> i mean yeah um i haven't been eating carbs in fact i haven't been feeling very hungry I think it was the medicine that I was on. It was really making me feel like and heartburn. So I haven't been eating um, as much as I would like. Um, so pastries in general, I haven't had any uh, any sweet stuff. I don't think I've had. I think I've had ice cream from Cold Stone one time last week. But yes, but today I woke up with a craving for pastry and so where else where else do you go when you crave pastry so i just sent my writer to pick up a couple of different things from la grenier um it is a french patisserie um i send them to i send him to the riverside branch um yeah so i can wait anytime my doorbell will go off and my pastries will be here so come with me let's make some coffee my bouquet. I need another one. And that's me. Calvin. And that's Calvin. He's doing what? Assignments. Assignments. We're doing thousands, hundreds, and tens, and ones. And ones. So my pastries are here. I got them from La Grenier. Oh, I got some macaroons. I got a lemon tart. That's my coffee with almond milk. And in here is a chocolate croissant, plain croissant, and some, what do you call this, madeleines? Ooh. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. This is so sweet. Mm, 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 mm. If you can hear any background noise, is my uh, machine, the washing machine. It's what do you call it? Tumble dry. That's what it's doing. It's drying. It's drying the clothes. Mm -hmm. It is a particularly cold day today. It's been cold the last couple of days. It's been raining and stuff. But um, yeah weather in august this is the last week of august by the way 
today's the 26th. Coming today is 26th. Or 25, 25th, 26th. Okay. So let me settle in, have some breakfast. My day today is very relaxed. It's very easy. So let me just sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Um, and just finish, you know, with the assignments with Calvin. I'll talk to you guys a bit later. So good afternoon from our little garden. This is our balcony garden that has really grown. Sorry our coriander looks like this. Um, it's been dying but I don't know. But we have harvested coriander and we do use it in our meals. Bush bean is right here. He's doing well. Um, we did get some pods next is this flower i forget the name i'll probably leave it on the screen but it's supposed to give some really beautiful um flowers i'm unable to differentiate the weeds from the flower but so far i think it looks good this is also another flower i forget the name as well and then here we have some spinach this we have harvested we do put it in our eggs just cut a leaf cut it up put it in your egg in the morning for breakfast then this is supposed to be tomato i think the sun has really done some damage on this one when it's nice and sunny like this it just doesn't really enjoy it but i have watered them um this afternoon again because it is a bit hot today i normally stick this I normally stick these bottles in here with water so that they can just drink off of that. This sack has been here for a couple of months now. It just has some soil with manure. Um, down here there was a pot with um, aloe vera. It died and I will dig it out so that I can plant my new miniature rose. I just got this from uh, plants galore. I will leave them linked down below. It is so cute. It was 700 bob It looks just like that. It's miniature meaning it can just grow in your pot and I chose the white color I see there's a bud there There's another one there and this one has already bloomed um, Then I want to show you on the other side Of the balcony. I do have some mint. I've used this in a GNT couple of times and then there is rosemary, which I have also used in chicken. Um, so this is turning out to be very, very helpful. Um, yeah. In the house, I have this palm plant. You saw me um, present her to you, newest member of our family. She's still holding up well, apart from a few dry leaves. Um, there she is. And then up here, I do have more plants. I'm turning out to be... <sighs> anyway, so I have orange kalankoi. And I think they'll be budding again because the old ones start to fall off. And then the new buds, I don't know if you can see. Then the new buds will start to bloom. I have the orange kalankoi. And this you just touch and feel. Maybe I might water it a little bit. But if the soil feels damp and then i also have a white version of the same plant the kalankoi plant and i think i'll water this as well um yeah these are real plants <laughs> they're not fakes then i have this one the snake plant this is the easiest plant to maintain needs very little attention very little water actually the less water you give it the better this one is just thriving he's happy he is known or other snake plants are known to purify the air so i got this from the guys who sell flowers on james kishiru near the mutangari police station i will leave down below um places that i have bought flowers from um in case you are interested next is well last but not least 
um, my orchids so this started off very well but I believe the orchid was sick even when it was sold to me as you can see this is a really sad state of affairs the flowers are just falling off the actual branch has dried up and the problem was coming from the roots so from the root system there must have been issues see there's like yellowing of the plant um so this was my latest orchid she is i want to say a month old and she's already gosh her health is just failing but i am still giving it um, a chance i'm not watering it at all i just want it to just dry up and then maybe start off from there um as you can see it's really oh my god i don't even know if you can see it. it it's really yellow it was like yellow yellow it's now getting darker but it was all almost rotting so as soon as all this you know dries up and cuts off maybe we can get um new branches but patience with orchids is just patience that's it i am tempted to buy a new one that's already blooming but i said wait fast um work on this ones and then this other orchid because there are two in the same pot this one is doing well this is the first one it has very healthy uh root system it has a nice stem um it's budding over here and I think there's a little bud coming out over there I don't know if you can see and then the other stem also has a new bud right there and another one right there there we go and then it's also growing up here and here as well so just patience with orchids is just patience they will try your patience you know but um i'm just taking it easy i'm not stressed out about them so this one's just normally sit here where there is they're not disturbed by anyone there's no direct light um yeah now I want to put a funny film so Calvin and I can enjoy some funny film time <laughs> some funny film time together it's something we've been doing this whole week by the way unwind and have some fun with the kids Showmax Entertainment has an extensive collection of shows and movies for children of all ages Showmax also lets you set up multiple profiles from your single account and you can set up a profile for your child and they'll be able to see shows and movies suitable for their age group. And for extra security, there's a parental control feature which allows you to set a pin to limit access to some age-restricted content. Here are our three picks. One, Kumba. Two, Abominable. Three, Dora and the Lost City. And the next one, Jumanji. Happy watching! Good morning. Um, Thursday today. I'm still in my PJs. I'm just in my dressing gown and some pajamas. But I want to change um, into workout clothes because I want to exercise a little bit. I'm going to be very gentle on myself. I haven't worked out in a week. So since last Wednesday, today's Thursday, um, I do feel like I need to work not work but just to kind of stretch my lower back especially i'll be gentle i'll be gentle but at the same time i want to not baby it so much otherwise it will never heal um so yeah let me change into workout clothes and then i'll take you with me and then we'll see how how this is gonna go i want to do at least 10 workouts for 30 seconds each i'll start with a plank that one's gonna hurt i know for sure because i'm putting my back in like plank position yeah i want to start with a plank so let's change and then let's do this like 
I was doing the damn thing. I've just watched the time lapse. I wasn't. It hurt so bad. Everything is still very tight, but it's a beginning. Um, at least I'm starting somewhere. Um, the stretching feels good. It hurts, but it feels good overall. I tried to lie on my back to do uh, flatter kicks. I couldn't. It hurts so much. So I, what I'm going to do is just give myself time to heal. Sorry if you hear pounding. I think there's some construction happening downstairs in the parking. I think they're, they're doing something at the parking lot. Um, yeah, so let me get ready have something to eat and then start the day so i have gone to shower and there is no water apparently the sound that you are hearing was them fixing a leaking pipe the banging so i have decided to plant my rose now my miniature rose now oh it's so hot out here today so I was told to wait for about half an hour before they can open the taps again and water will flow. I forgot to show you guys. Oh my god, I forgot to show you guys yesterday. There is. I'm convinced these are like some type of wasps, but I'm told these are ants. There are some ants, flying ants, aka wasps, that that are building a house on our window right above our balcony garden. Let me just show you how they look like. They're really scary. Ew. I've been convinced not to destroy them. Um, can you see? I'll just zoom in. Can you see them? There they are. Oh my god, there are so many. Can you see them? Can you see them? There are so many. I could see three now. I think they're like asleep or something. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, there we go. So they've been building this thing. And I've been convinced not to destroy them because they're not bothering anyone. But I'm sure it's 